Hey DSMS, it's Zoe and Tati with your October 11th edition of DSMS TV News. The following clubs are meeting after school today. STEM Club in E29 and Ceramics Club in D8. There is no gaming club today. Here is a video of a 7th grade science expo. <laughs> Could you explain what you're doing? Yeah, so we're actually making a uh, slime from different polymers. So the slime that I have chosen to make today is um, a borax, bar gum, and water slime. And borax is also known as sodium pentaborate. And sodium pentaborate is basically a polymer. There's two different types of polymers that we're using. I believe this is a grid polymer because it's more three-dimensional. Um, something like a piece of paper is a two is a um, grid polymer. So there's web and group problems. Alright, so we're gonna make another one. So yeah, so uh, I'll get the water. <laughs> okay. So anyway. Um so bar gum is just a thickening agent, basically is what it is. So it's used a lot in foods. And borax is just laundry detergent. It's basically soap is what it is. So um you we are independent variable, but we decided we're gonna change is how much borax you add. So we're gonna add um, as much borax as you know we kind of pulled over here. So the poll that we did is um, what our second hour science class is. And they chose the half teaspoon, which is this one here. Um, um, so me and Riley decided that we were gonna do something like this. It's really interesting to see just how um, it thickens and changes just because of um, different thickening agents we use. So right now we're gonna be using our water. So she's adding it so that make it easier. <laughs> um, so she's gonna be adding her water here. I think seven tablespoons. And that's gonna make probably like a half cup of slime. So not a lot of slime. Uh, so then you want to add your bar gum, and this is a this is our um, the thickening of it is actually our dependent variable. What is going to be changing because we're changing the borax. Um, but we decided that we were going to try this out. So hopefully, as you guys can see, just adding the bar gum thickened it up a lot. So what thickens up the the slime? Uh, this is bar gum. It's a thickening agent. What? It's a thickening agent. So we use it in food. What is it? What is it? Well, it's it's made Oregon. Yeah. So it's there's it's literally Oregon. It's a natural agent that you can find. I think it's from like trees or something. Yeah. So um, as you can see, just adding the Oregon really thickened it up into almost a gel already. And then the borax is just going to finish the thickening process so that it can change uh, into something else. So we're going to dye this one red. Oh, no, green. Oh, green. So what was your experiment? Our experiment was to see uh, what amount of borax makes the best and most common colors of the Okay. I'm doing the whole experiment myself and you're watching this. Dude, you the you Now we're going to add the food dye just so we can tell which one is which. We don't want to have them all the same color and then not know which one we use for what. So we kind of color coded them yesterday. Just add the dye here. And so we're just going to stir this around and eventually it will turn into, hopefully as you guys can see, look how much it's just changed right there. Uh, it's really, really cool. So all we have to do now is pour it into the bag and you can feel it in the bag. So it's squeezed warm water so that the borax will melt. So this one's a little bit thinner than the other ones. But um, yeah, that's our experiment. It's really cool. And out of the birthdays. I don't know what the birthdays. Today's birthdays are Kate Rudolph, 
Lauren Tucker, and Brianna Adelson. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, and now to the sports. Hey DSMS, it's Elizabeth here with your sports. Iceland's soccer team had an unexpected win against England. Iceland's unlikely journey to the quarterfinals of Euro 2016 has undoubtedly been one of the stories of the tournament. There's also a game today at Shea Middle School for boys basketball and girls softball. Good luck. And that is all I have for today. DSMS and back to the anchors. Yeah. We're back. Today is National Stop Bullying Day. Bring your parents to lunch, bring your teddy bear to school, and National Emergency Nurses Day. And now to a special announcement from Mr. Hummer and Mrs. O'Boyle. Good morning, Desert Shadows. I'm Katie O'Boyle. And I'm Derek Hummert. One of the best parts of our day is during lunch, lunch period in the courtyard and in the cafeteria. That's the time we get to be with the seventh and eighth grade students and engage and talk with you all. And that's really where we like to see you. Uh, unfortunately, we often see students that come to the office either because of a discipline issue or a problem. And I will tell you that over the past few weeks we've had some problems with loss uh, or property damage where somebody's uh, personal items, might be a phone, might be a bicycle or some other thing of value, is lost. And I think all of us know what it feels like to lose something that's special to us. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about that today. And we can all help one another by respecting one another's property. And so I'm going to give a few tips here to students that I think is going to be helpful. One, uh, don't touch other people's things. Even if you think it's a joke or a prank and you have your hands on someone's phone or bike. Uh, we've also had some problems with vandalism, which results in a referral and sometimes police action. Uh, and the other thing you can do is to not buy things at school. Uh, Desert Shadows Middle School is not a marketplace. So you should not be buying or selling anything. Not Girl Scout cookies, um, not uh, ID cards, uh, not anything. And if you do find your somebody that you, you, they sell you something, uh, that should raise some suspicion in your mind uh, because Desert Shadows is not the place for that. And it could very well be that that artifact or item that you want to buy was taken from somebody else. And that is something that does not feel very good. Um, so just avoid all purchases and do not sell things at Desert Shadows. Um, those would be violations of our code of conduct and it might end up hurting somebody that we care about. Mm -hmm. And I always say that if we just all abided by the golden rule, which is to treat others as we would like to be treated, uh, we would avoid all of these type of problems. So keeping that in mind, um, there have been some really positive behaviors that we've seen um, in the hallways and around campus. And particularly, I'm talking about students who come to school, uh, maybe on crutches or, or who are injured. And I've seen so many um, acts of kindness around where students are carrying backpacks and holding doors open for these students. Um, their school day is just a little bit more difficult sometimes um, with those crutches and things. So I want to thank those people who have done those things and just encourage others to be mindful of those who might be on crutches and just to help them out. Um, the second thing that I would like to address is that of cell phones. Just want to remind everybody that we are cell phone free um, from the time that school starts to the time that school ends except for lunch. And that's the only time you should have a cell phone out. We have seen a lot more cell phone usage trying to happen in between classes and passing period. So um, just remember that that is not a time to get your phone out and send off a quick message or or use your phone to take a picture. Uh, so we'd like to decrease any cell phone activity um, that's going on in between classes. Thank you. Mr. Hummer, you mentioned um, that we see students sometimes on crutches being supported by others. And one thing that I think about when I see that, and it's, it is great to see our students holding doors open and carrying backpacks for others, is that there are many among us who have a sadness or an injury that isn't visible, that isn't a broken leg or a broken arm, but maybe something you know, we talked about mind, body, and spirit. Mm -hmm. So it might not be the body, it might be the, the mind or the spirit on a given day. I think it's always good to recognize that the people that we interact with, and we have a lot of interactions at school, uh, they may not be having their best day. And when we think about that, and we think about that everybody has challenges and struggles, uh, that's one way that we can, we can respect one another too. Absolutely, Miss O'Boyle. Everybody loves, everybody loves Miss O'Boyle's big heart at school, and so um, we love seeing those acts of kindness. Keep it up, Desert Shadows is a great place to work and learn. And that's all for me, Mr. Hummert. Stay classy, be kind, and be brave. 
Thanks for that announcement. That's all we have for today. And remember to stay classy, DSMS. Yeah! Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This old world confused.